Hello and welcome to my packing for a short holiday video. I'm Tutti, which you will know if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, but if you're new here, welcome and pleased to meet you. Let's get into it. So the first thing I do when I'm packing for a holiday is I look at the weather. I'm off to Rhodes with my bestie for five days and the weather is looking spectacular. Look at that. Highs of 25, lows of 20. So it's gonna be a scorcher. Then I wanna take a look at where I'm actually going. We are staying close to the old town of Rhodes and there will be lots of cobbled streets, lots of ruins to explore and hikes to go on. So I think flats are the way forward. So that's gonna give me an idea of what kind of clothes I wanna wear. Now I wanna think about how many outfits I need to take. We're going for five nights, so I'm gonna get five evening outfits and six day outfits. And the biggest thing to remember is don't overpack. Let's do it. When I'm choosing my items, I'm thinking about the size of luggage. We're going with the wonderful Ryanair, which means you have to count your calories. So we're just gonna have a normal cabin bag and a handbag. So that already limits you. I try to pick pieces that aren't gonna need to be ironed because I wanna spend my holiday having fun and not doing chores. Here we have five evening outfits. Most of them don't need ironing, apart from this black one, which I might swap out for the white. But let's try them on and see what you think. This is evening outfit number one and it's really good to think about footwear. I'm gonna wear these sandals for all of my evening outfits. Safe space in that suitcase. They are comfy and neutral and go with everything. Let's go to outfit number two. This is outfit number two. I'm only gonna be bringing three, four options for accessories. These beaded necklaces and one just more delicate but that's enough variety to go with any of the options that I'm picking. Only one pair of sunglasses, so choose carefully. You want sunglasses that you can transition from day into early evening. This is the coat I'll be taking with me through the airport, so if it does get chilly in the night, I have a Mac that goes with everything. Let's go outfit number three. Evening outfit number three is real chill. It also goes against my rules a little bit because these pants do need to be ironed. However, I feel like I can just get away with it. It almost feeds into that relaxed vibe. So I'm gonna go with it. Moving on to number four. Outfit number four is this cute little Zara co-ord, which I love. And again, it's that material that you just don't have to iron. It's brilliant. Let's go to five. Here we have number five. I just love it. Those are the five evening outfits. Let's go to daytime. Let's do daytime. We might go on a day tour, so I've got my swimming costume that I'm going to wear under my shorts. I'm only bringing these comfy sandals for my daytime wear, like so. I'm just bringing this tanned belt because it tends to go with everything. Day outfit number one. Let's go to two. Just my cycling shorts and a plain tee. This is just the perfect hiking outfit. And apparently there's a hike you can go on that's the Valley of the Butterflies. <coughs> so excited. Number three. Number three, just nice and casual, easy to wear. Number four, you just got another high-waisted short. And number five, these oversized denim shorts. And number six, it's just gonna be an additional t-shirt to go with these denim shorts. Just taking two cover-ups so I have this caftan and a sarong which can also be a daytime outfit actually and I was gonna take my sports swimsuit because I love to do water sports when I'm away however I did promise my bestie that I won't drag her into doing extreme sports and that we'll just have a chilled relaxed holiday <coughs> I'm gonna leave it and a couple of bikinis because I've already got a swimsuit as well let's check out the airport outfit for my airport outfit, I like to be super comfy. I always wear a pair of trainers to the airport. So a jumper in case I get cold on the plane. And it also gives me the ability to take it off if I get too hot once I get there. And because we live in sunny old London, just in case you didn't know I was being sarcastic, this lightweight coat so that I don't freeze my kahunas off. And my airport outfit coming back is literally the same. I just have a different pair of leggings and top. So. Let's go on to packing. I have my trusty Samsonite suitcase, which is great because it's got those two compartments. I tend to put all my clothes in this side and then all my beauty and extra stuff in this side. Let's do it. The interesting thing is seeing what's not gonna make the cut. 
So as you can see, when I'm packing, I fold all my outfit items together and then I tend to roll them really just to make more room in my suitcase and also just so it's really easy when I'm unpacking when I get to the hotel what outfits go together. Rolling it this way I feel like this keeps it quite neat and also creates less ironing and less time ironing means more time for fun. If you are enjoying this content, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more videos. And if I am planning to wear the same bottoms with different tops, I pile them all together and roll them as one. Keep it organized. And as you will see, those shorts didn't make the cut, simply because I thought I've got these black denim shorts and I can wear them a couple of times with different tops. So out they went. And there we go. What a pretty case. I always just stuff my undies in the gaps. Perfect little nook. Socks the same. Cover ups will go over. didn't make the cut and if I can get away with fitting my bikinis in this side I will otherwise they'll go in here and now it's just to pack all the additionals I've put my shoes in dust bags a bag for the evening that will go with everything a little bag for the daytime my belt this was my jewelry I'm gonna try to just take one pair of earrings with me, which I'm actually gonna wear on my way out there. And then I have my bag with my face cloth and my scrubber. I think this is the color nail varnish I'm gonna wear. So I'm gonna take that with me to top it up in case I need to. And that can go into my makeup bag. I don't really wear makeup on holiday. However, I have got a spot right here that I have to cover up. So all I'm taking with me is my little Bobbi Brown concealer my little trini london stack i use freddy lip to cheek my mascara and a lip gloss and that's as exciting as it gets for me with makeup that can go in in here i just have my shampoos and hair oil i use moroccan oil in here I have all my sun cream, so it's the only one that I will use on my face. Back to 50, actually I'm going to put that in my hand luggage with me. My Dermatologica under eye cream, which I love, and my face washes. And that goes. In here I have insect repellent for mosquitoes, hay fever tablets, paracetamol, medication, all that kind of stuff that you might need. And there he goes. And in the last one, toothpaste, my toothbrush, and shower gels. That is the suitcase done. Easy peasy. In my hand luggage, I of course take my boarding passes and my passport, my mask, paracetamol, some chewies, my fan in case when I get there it's really hot and I could just... I always take my perfume with me, hand cream, my face sun cream, my reading glasses, my sunglasses, my Kindle, also some work that I have to do while I'm away. My purse, obviously. My power bank for my phone. My AirPods. Selfie stick. And my charger. And of course my phone. And that is it. I'm packed and ready to go. Thanks for watching.